Today I'm presenting the Roland Grand Piano Line, two models, the very top of the line, GP9M, and the very bottom of the line, GP3. Stick around, it's going to be an interesting comparison. Hi, Ted Barsley with Alamo Piano Galleries. You can find us online at alamopianogalleries.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and like to build membership and you can send in questions and comments and give us something to look forward to in answering you back. Lately, we've been doing videos. A couple of them I've had that come out for viewer suggestions, so send those in. As promised, this is the Roland Grand Piano line and they don't mention that they're digital pianos, but they are. This is the Roland GP9M model, and this is the Roland GP3. The difference right off the top, this one goes for right about $19,000, and this one goes right at about $4,000. So there's $15,000 in features and benefits that are in between these two, from the micro mini piano to the full-size grand piano. And the other thing I wanted to mention is this is a player piano. It's not just a digital piano in a grand piano case. It is a player piano. And one of the features about this being a player piano that gives it advantage over what I would say other player pianos in acoustic line is that this is always in tune. It's always perfectly in tune. A lot of player pianos, you see them in airports, hotel lobbies, showrooms of vehicles and cars, all kind of in model homes. The pianos are hardly ever in tune. They're not properly maintained. Sometimes the player systems are a little noisy. I don't have anything against the player systems that we sell, but this one here is a complete digital player system piano as well. It has unlimited polyphony, and that means you can put down the sustain pedal and hit all the notes it'll play. That biggest feature as a player piano is that it can record what you play on it and it can play it back. And the other thing, if you're gonna place it where it's gonna just be playing piano all day long continuously, like in an airport or a hotel lobby, a venue, or even in a store, you can control the volume. And it'll control the volume of how loud and how soft this thing plays. And also if it's playing any background music or orchestral tracks and stuff like that, you can turn it down. That's the main problem with player pianos. Sometimes they're too loud, or it's too big of a piano for too small of a space. This one here fixes all of that. Plus, it's also a great, wonderful instrument. Both of these pianos play great. Yeah, this one plays better than that one. You would expect so. They both have ivory feel on the keys, the white ones. This has an ebony feel. This one doesn't. These are just plain whatever they call black keys, I guess. And the other thing is this has piano samples and this one has a modeling system. The modeling system gives unlimited poly polyphony. This one has a limited 256K polyphony so that you may get some sound cut off if you're doing long runs or arpeggios or glissandos uh, on this piano. Also, this one's gonna have a much, much bigger, fatter, beefier sounding sound system to it. Um, and they can, you can do duets together because in order for this one to be drowned up by that one, this one would be so loud. It, I mean, you can do duets with them. Uh, it'd be great for a teacher to have one play on one, the student on the other, work on duets, control the volume, have headphones on. Uh, connectivity, there's a lot of connectivity on the GP9M. It also has a microphone input that you can play and sing along with tracks on here. You can also record. Uh, and it will play back, the keys go up and down. This one will record and play back, but the keys do not move. And for extended purposes and a little bit more detail, there's a separate uh, GP9M Roland video, and there's a separate GP3 Roland video on this keyboard. What I'm trying to do here is to give you an analysis of what you really get at the top of the line and what is available at the bottom of the line and I can tell you there's about that many um, dollars and features between these two because they do make this piano without the player system and it does not have the microphone capability. But other than that, everything else is nearly identical and the price is far, far less without the player piano system in it. That's going to be another video coming up later on. 
not today. In terms of sitting and playing these things, they're both a joy to sit at and, and play. They're both inspiring uh, instruments. I do prefer <laughs> the, uh, the GP9M because the sound on this is just like a premier piano experience. It's like sitting at a grand piano and playing it. Both of these respond and act and even sound the way they place their speakers and they have their sound system. There's something I can talk about. You have about 22 watts, I believe, in sound power in here, which is not a whole lot. I think it's two 11 watt speak, uh, amplifiers that are, that are playing. This one has a combined different types of wattage for different speaker systems. It comes up to about 150 watts. It's quite powerful. It's got a ported bass for strategically placed speakers. And they're strategically placed really kind of close, almost exactly where other manufacturers put their strategically placed speakers on their soundboards. So there is a lot of science showing up on this soundboard like it does on other manufacturers that use soundboards with, with their pianos. We're gonna give some kind of comparison between the two sounds and the ones I think we'll probably pull out and use here will be uh, the first one or two acoustic piano sounds and probably the first uh, electric or two. Uh, so you can get a difference between the two sounds between modeling, synthesis, and sampling. With that, we'll be right back.
One thing that these pianos have in common from the top of the line to the entry liner, you know, from the beginning, the micro to the, to the large grand, is this warranty that is about the only warranty uh, that is like this from any manufacturer for just about any product, let alone these products. 10 year warranty on parts and on service and on site servicing. When something goes wrong with these and you have them, they come to your house and fix it. That's what most people back in the good old days called a warranty. Since then, there's been so many limits and exclusions and things, oh, that's not covered, but this is a 10 year parts and service on site fixed warranty. That's why it's real popular with any kind of venue that wants an instrument, some kind of social hall, a lodge, a uh, church, uh, some kind of arena, a small venue, a small theater, a uh, music club. 10 years, you're knowing your things are always gonna work or someone will be there to fix it. That is a powerful statement. And that also says a lot about how Roland feels about how well manufactured their products are. That I cannot disagree with. Their products are warrantied and they work. We've had a problem keeping some of these models in the store because they've just been real popular. I think this is the third or fourth one we have, but the very first one that has, is not sold. So we get to actually shoot a video on this thing. It's been fun. It's a great instrument. It's really uh, inspiring to have something play back for you as a pianist. And as if you're just a pianist and not even a composer, you wanna see how you look playing your keys, where your timing is at. It's so easy to just record yourself and listen to it back. You can record yourself and listen to it back on a GP3, but you're not gonna see that key action going up and down. And that's something that is really worth the investment if you ever think you wanna like put it in the venue or something, because it really is entertaining to watch a piano play, even though there's no one there. I don't know what else to tell you other than you get what you pay for in this day and age when it comes to digital pianos. I told a customer the other day, I said, hey, look, we got all these different brands that we carry and on digital pianos, whatever your price range is, stick to your price range if that's your plan. And I don't even sell these things anymore. I'll show you what they do and you pick them because people are gonna pick the one that they want. There's that much variety in terms of digital pianos. However, Roland calls these Roland pianos and these are their grand piano line. So with that, you can think and listen and play these. Come into one of our stores somewhere in Ohio. We have stores in Michigan. We have stores in Texas and St. Louis and in Kansas City. I am Ted Barsalu with Alamo Piano Galleries. This has been a comparison of the Roland Grand Piano line from the top of the line GP9M to the entry line, the GP3. And they are both beautiful instruments, polished ebony, trimmed in silver hardware. Come on in and play them. Send us your questions and comments and let me know what you think about the differences between these two. Thank you very much for your time.